Hello everyone, welcome to Building the Ultimate Matchbox Car Collection. My name is Tyrone and this is the Matchbox Police Car Special. So it makes sense to start at 2021. So get this one off the peg and off the card. There it is. Uh, the 2016 Ford Interceptor Utility in uh, El Segundo police hopefully I'm saying that right this was 78 out of 100 also in the power grabs box um, in other markets than the US I'm not sure if you guys get power grabs but here we are on the card and here we are off the card I have, uh, like a lot of these, I have this one already loose, but I like to collect multiples. I'll show you the whole collection during the course of this video, but for now, we'll take a look at this baby. All of these, I think, are plastic base. Mm, yeah, I believe all of them. Uh, no, there are a few metal bases. We'll get to those as we go never quite liked the tow hook on this but hmm. nice looking car should we do what we normally do and just start a line along the back why not so we'll go through and uh, select a bunch of these to take off the cards uh, some I don't really need in the collection the Subaru WRX was my little sugar hit a while ago. Every time I saw one, I bought one. Subaru uh, 2015 WRX STI. Lovely casting. Uh, the Plymouth. I preferred that in the civilian colours. They came out in a dull red and a very cool blue. Uh, I do have a few of those loose. And the 51 Hudson Hornet up there from 2019. I'm looking for the variants. I have a few, but not as many as the blue. And 2020 was the super fast version of the Crown Vic with the opening parts. That came out in a couple of varieties as well. Hopefully they bring that out in more varieties yet. And let's get to something we'll instantly rip off the card. This fella here, the Dodge Charger Pursuit from 2016. Such a beefy looking car isn't it? Uh, Dodge Charger Pursuit from 2016. We call this one the, um, well they refer to this one as having a muscular stance in the advertising campaign. I can't remember which uh, YouTube channel or, or YouTube site I was looking at. Uh, but I was researching this one a few years ago because I wanted one and the import duties are horrendous so I gave up um, and of course you have to convert them to right hand drive bring them into Australia so it made it impossible financially anyway just uh, you, you think about the things you can buy for the same money and you end up not buying 
a Dodge Charger. <laughs> um, certainly wouldn't get it in police livery. You wouldn't be uh, driving that for very long on public roads here. So yeah, that's nice to have loose. Um, there are quite a few Dodge Chargers on these pegs and a few different ones in the drawers behind me. We'll get to those, but that is that one. And we'll bring out some of the things we've already talked about on our peg hunt journey. Shall I mix them up or put them together? Uh, I'll mix them up, I think. And the little Subaru, although the scales are a bit over the place. And the Crown Vicks we saw earlier, including the one on the pegs, and yeah, the one with the taxi light bar, unfortunately. But you get that. You can't have it all. Okay, let's continue. This is another one from 2016. We did skip 2015, but we'll get to that in a second. Uh, I was surprised to see this one. I was running through the, the boxes of um, previously purchased stuff and uh, came across this MBX Heroic Rescue series. It was 68 of 125 back in 2016. BMW M5 police car. I didn't know the casting went back that far, but um, here we are. Hmm. Strange greyish white pearly paint job there. And before that, well, very recently, not before that, uh, came this one. And before that, we got the Best of the World series with rubber tyres. Fantastic blue rims. They just hit the spot. Best OTW on the license plate for Best of the World. Absolute killer cop car. Rubber tyres, and yeah, they round out the three that I have anyway, perfectly. I want to put that in front because I really like it, but uh, we won't put that there. And move right along to 2015. These aren't all the ones that came out in 2015, and I warn you that uh, sometimes you're going to see some disturbing images of cards that say MBX 2014 collection. Now, small disclaimer, um, 2012, 13, 14 and 15 seem a little bit muddled. Might just be me, but uh, Matchbox or Mattel um, just went all in on those on that group of years because uh, they seem to label and mislabel things. Oh, I need that one. And um, oh, there's one I'm targeting. I found this this morning in the box. I thought, yeah, that won't be staying on the card all day. So we'll get that one open, the Impreza. But we'll randomly put these ones back on the peg as if we're getting other customers in my pretend shop today. Yeah, so this is uh, MBX 2014 collection on the front. On the back it says 2014, which usually used to, or still does maybe, indicate that it's a 2015 release. But who knows, I just spotted that one there, which is of the Heroic Rescue set. Um, same car in color and it's got 2013 which would indicate that it's actually 2014 but confused let's just get them both off the guard i need them need might be uh, too strong a word for this situation but 
Am I destroying my thumbnail? Oh yeah. Yeah, we'll see a bit of this one today. That is super cool. WRX 2007. I know they've got sleeker as the years have gone by, but this is a great looking car. This is where they got really famous, I think. As well. You don't call them doubles when you're collecting police cars, you call them platoons. <laughs> How many is in a platoon? Not really a police car term, is it? <laughs> And this one here, 1993 Ford Mustang LX SSP. And I do know what SSP means, but I don't remember. <laughs> Been told so many times now what SSP means. It's something to do with special service pursuit. Maybe that's on target this time. More often than not, I screw it up, but we'll leave it. It's the Highway Patrol version. Safety in service, as always. At least they're chasing you. And uh, this one came out in a whole bunch of colours. I don't have them all, but I do have these. Sweet. Um, yeah, I already had that one loose, but as I say. I seem to have lots from 2014, so I'll continue down. That's officially 2014 now, as you'll call it. I've got a Lambo. I'm into my police bikes at the moment, so one of those can come off the base of the, the card today. Leave that one. Already plenty of Lambos that can stay. Buick Century police car, we'll have that. And a bike. Leave that one. This is a nice livery, isn't it? This is the Ford Police Interceptor in a lovely green Marshall livery. Beamer can come home today. Well, it is home, but it can come off the card today. And another Dodge Charger. Is that different? We'll have a look at that as we empty these pegs. Alright, we'll start off with this one, the Ford Police Interceptor. So these are all from around 2014. What does it say on the card? 2013, which indicates 2014, but you know, who knows. Great looking car, Marshall on the side. Interceptor. What is that? 2010 copyright. So there are more to find. Um, I have more. Not sure what year this one came out in, in the state police. Maybe it was 2011, who knows. This is the last one that we found, or we've been given, asked to buy, um, 2021. Didn't get anything on the side, but you did get the extra bits to the taillight cluster and the Ford badge. Same on the front. And this one. And of course, 2021 saw the Fire Chief version as well. But we won't include that one. Pop him down there. Maybe I'll do a fire engine version of what I'm doing here in a future video. Right, next one. Um, what do we know about this? It was 76 out of 120 in the 56 Buick Century Police in a muted blue. Um, artwork is great. Yeah, so that's the same sort of thing as that version of the Hudson Hornet. Nice. So they'll go well together. Do I have any others? I thought I... Oh yeah. 
so that's from the collection already so I look forward to getting the others and I do know there is at least one in the pegs as I just look up and spot one so that's good to add to that one Dodge Charger Pursuit there are many in the pegs up above and all around and we'll get to them in due course this was 84 of 120 yeah Boone County Sheriff that's who's come to get you um it strikes me as odd that the sheriff thing is still around but maybe it's just an everyday for you in the states and maybe Canada as well I don't know uh, but yeah we, we have a sheriff here but he's more or less only to um, serve your court papers and they're very random they drive around in a SUV and knock on doors they don't arrest people as far as I know BMW don't they make a good cop car any kind of BMW I actually thought I had this one in the collection loose already but I might have been mistaking it for that one you know how your memory makes a leaps leaps of the imagination that's how people embellish memory isn't it and good stories get told because the imagination steps in where the memory fails to complete the story BM, BMX, BMW X5 oh well I certainly do have it loose in the collection now won't go next to this one it's a row all by itself hey heavy casting is that no 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 no, no. that's plastic there's just a lot of upper body work to this now I'm not convinced give me something metal is this metal? no I think that's metal huh should have brought a magnet as I scour for a magnet no it's a two dollar coin that gee that looked like a magnet I thought that was one of the magnets that I used to no it's the Australian two dollar coin anyway back on subject it must be coming up to coffee time <laughs> should we move right along with a motorbike 73 out of 120 for that particular set BMW R1200 RTP what if the P means pursuit um, the one next to me that I'm about to rip off the card just after this one is a different designation I'll bring that on because you know how cards get destroyed around here this is the BMW R1200 GS so maybe the P of RTP does not mean pursuit who knows but we'll take a look at both now the cop bike looks so good going through traffic with those lights flashing and the odd whoop as it goes through the lights wouldn't want to be on one going through a red light on a motorbike ain't my thing good on them for doing it though uh, yeah this is the GS oh wow wow that's heavy heavy man that's a completely different casting whoa if I was going to get a motorbike another motorbike again because I have owned bikes in the past in my younger years it would be something of this stance without the stuff on the back um, like the Triumph Tiger I like the look of that it's this kind of uh, go anywhere but mainly on the highway kind of bike and of course Triumph perfectly named the bike Tiger to make it sound even cooler they look great shall we continue 2013 we've got a couple of pegs for not too keen on this one but I don't have it loose so I'll get that off the card that's a snow version oddly of the Impreza and another 
cool looking motorbike. I've seen it before, we'll see it again. Lambo, I'll keep on the peg. Ah, there goes a Buick I'm looking for. In white. This one, mm, not looking for that elusive platoon. Um, that seems that's a double, but on uh, oh, they were both on long cards. So I'll leave that one and put this back. Give you downtown. Is that going to work? I'll have to edit out the bumps. So this is the lower um, 2013 peg. We need that. I'll leave that. Did we already have that? Possibly, but I'll take it anyway. Not after those today, and um, not after those today. Not interested. Maybe it's something you chase, but I'll leave it today. Might come off the peg at some point. It's back. Actually, we might need to clear the bottom row, so I'll get more light on the end shot, but we'll see. I was pretty sure I already had this one, and yes, we've already taken that off the card today, but we need another. And there is the other. Good. You know the trouble's getting serious when more than one car turns up. And here is another from the 60th anniversary in white. Yeah, that looks good. So one Boone County and the other. What is that? I think that just says City Police. Generic one. Maybe wrong. Nice red light bar on that one. Really nice. Is that a different casting? Hmm. Seems to be the same base. Yeah. Interesting. Good to have those. And should we get back to Subarus? I don't know if uh, this was particularly popular in this livery. It's not doing it for me with those white tires. You may collect these. This may be your favorite one. So nice when the car doesn't give me too hard a time. Mm, yeah. Good to have the variant. It's always good to have variants. Where did the others go? There they are. Yeah. Gotta have them. So I'll put those together, I think. Right. Oh, actually, we have another two from that last round of pig hunting. The 56 Buick Century in white with black doors. New to the loose collection in, in white, so very happy to have that, along with its buddy O's. Sweet. And that there, and that there, and another motorbike. That's the BMW R1200RTP again. This time in sort of a army green. Oh, it's military police. Why wouldn't it be army green? Oh, that looks good. This has been around the house for a while. Um, but never off the card. Always a different look off the card. Hmm.
obviously unrealistically wide flat tires but they do stand up on them so that's a bonus onwards and upwards we do our peg hunting in our seated position where are we up to anyway it is 2012 isn't it um, so we'll go upstairs there we are speaking of motorbikes is that different that's different so oh there's two of them so that can stay on the peg what are you seeing okay um hudson hornet that's a fourth version and a double and yeah that double can stay there for now that can go there because there's two of it so we'll do these three starting with oh, starting with the motorbike hmm so this is 2012 a mere decade ago which one compares closest probably the other civilian bike yeah Hmm. Nice. So they went a bit plasticky on the one on the left. Or is that black metal? That might be black metal. That is. Because the weight is the same. Really nice. So I'll bring all of those out when we figure out if we've got all the bikes off the cards. Um, Old Town was the series of this 9 of 10 in probably 125 does it say anywhere probably oh, 120 on this one 69 of 120 but it was 9 of 10 of MBX Old Town of 2012 yeah so that's the fourth version Black but different, and the blue, and the white. In case you're keeping track. <laughs> Excellent. And the third one from 2012 is the Mitsubishi Lancer Evolution X Police. I picked this up a second ago thinking it was the Impreza, but no. It's direct competitor, MBX Aero. Aero. That's weird. 10 of 10 in 90 of 100 of 2012. It's a lot of numbers to throw at you. Oh, that's very nice. Yeah, I like that. I think this is the first Mitsubishi police car I have. Sweet. Not at all like the Subaru. Um, 2011 just go up a little bit from our comfortable seated position to ogle some more of these Dodge Chargers um, we've got one of the yeah uh, gee they stretch <laughs> there's a lot of these here which is good emergency response was the sub series um, of 2011 and this is obviously the Dodge Charger let's just rip this off the base now Hey, is that the best one yet? I think previously that was the best, but I think the latest one trumps it. Blacked out wheels. Loving it. If you're after a fleet, wouldn't it be this one? That looks quite mean. And we've got a SWAT looking bomb proof thing and another one of these and that one behind is the same as the thingy full drive what do they call it SWAT truck um, that is the same yeah so I need both of those it's got a damaged card what if we get a discount speak to management later about that yeah sweet 
very large group of Dodge Chargers. So 2010, just you. 2010 I have very few of, but I do have a Dodge Charger. Oh, and there's a Monaco up there. We'll bring them both down. So we'll do this one first. Put you there so you don't get a cramp in your neck. So from 2010, what are we looking at? 58 of 100. This is the emergency emergency response subseries Dodge Charger Police and Shreveport. Hmm. Hello to you if you live in Shreveport or even know where it is. Got those same blacked out wheels. Look at that. And almost blacked out windows on this one. Although the interior is still there. They look good. Hmm. I'll try and get very close to the camera for that. You'll be able to uh, see that badge, but I still can't. You can get tail lights on the white one. Maybe that uh, back end would have been extremely plain in white without breaking it up with the tail lights because they didn't do it with the headlights. Yeah, magic. And the Monaco from 2010, 78 Dodge Monaco Police Emergency Response, and that was 53 out of 100 for 2010. I love the blue they put on this. Sheriff on the side, Dodge on that back end. What a blue. How does that compare to the Subaru? Doesn't. One's metal flake. One is just super high gloss. Pretty. And we're back into that tri spoke wheel era they used very effectively. Terrific. Right in front of us is the only one from 2009 I found in the collection. Just happens to be another Dodge Charger. 61 of that year. How many were in the year? Um, it's not going to help me out. Hmm. Oh, is that right? No, no, there's nothing there. Hmm. Seven of eight of the subseries. It doesn't matter now. Yeah. Look at the difference the blacked out windows make. Glad they didn't do blacked out on the uh, black cars because it would uh, detract from the overall look, I think. Just went for clear with a nice greyish interior. Really nice. Wow. Um, 2008, can we do the same trick here? Just keep rolling. We've got ourselves two Imprezas. These are the only two I have in store for 2008, so that's handy. We are clearing these pegs pretty quickly though. Right, first one is, so these were the same year, with the dump truck or the haul pack on the artwork. Uh, this one was 45, they were both 45, just a straight up recolor in the same year. Hmm, yeah. Sweet. I like those wheels too. Sometimes they go very well and sometimes they don't, but on these, this was also 45 of 2008. Hmm. Really clean look, isn't it? Superb. Right, we're going to have to go mini tripod for 20... Oh no, we can get away with that with 27. We'll just do that. We've got a super fast Australian car. This is the AU Falcon, so we'll have a look at that. That was 28 of the super fast series. 
uh, and 48 of the same year in the super fast series was the good old Crown Vic without opening parts um, and something very random Police one of those no name brands so we'll take a look at that too after this we'll have to use the little mini tripod but here we go, let's get this one out of the way strange looking fellow they must have lost a lot, a lot of license deals, um, Mattel, in that year of 2007. Or 2006 was the year they would have manufactured this, I suppose. Strange police car. What do you think? The only thing I think going for this is how deep the blue is, but then of course you're going to get the tinted blue windows. Hmm. Generic doesn't sum it up, does it? Let's get to something lovely. The Ford Crown Victoria. Uh, no opening parts. Here's the box. And there's the car. Ooh, those wheels are a bit shiny. Uh, let's get over this one to compare. Oh, look at the grill though. Much better on the left. You'd love a um, hybrid of this, wouldn't you? So swap out the wheels from right to left, but keep the detail on the front end. Different year, I know, but hmm. Yeah. So that's the super fast Crown Vic. And the last one of 2007 to show you is the Falcon from Australia. So, yeah, the same sort of box, cool light work. And here she is. Familiar front end. Um, it would have been nice for lens headlights. Not sure about what they did with that steering wheel. You'd have to have no knees to get in under that steering wheel. <laughs> but accurate proportions for the actual car. Not accurate livery. You wouldn't see the black and whites in Australia. Police cars are all white. Um, maybe what would be the closest livery to an Australian cop car? Maybe something like that. Maybe. Um, New South Wales have more colourful cars than anybody else, I think. But we don't get the black and whites. So, oh. Put you on the tripod and we'll do some more pig hunting. 2006, I'm a bit light on the ground, but I do have this one, Dodge Magnum Police, in a station wagon, so we'll take that. And 2000, where did 2000, oh, we have one from 2005. So we'll take a look at that. 2004, it turned to that. In the Hero Cities collection, we'll leave that. 2004, that was another generic one. Not really interested. Where's it, buddy? That's that one there we had a look at, but in the station wagon version or the SUV version. And heading on down to 2002, got a Chevy Impala, so we'll take that and a blue version of that red bike, we'll leave it, and that one keeps popping up, but in white there, and really strangely the Ford truck with raft as a police car, leave it, and moseying on up to 2001, the Hero City look continued, won't mess the pegs up. And we've got the pimped out wheels, campervan style, 
in the command center. Doors open. And we'll definitely take this one, a motorbike from 2001. And then we swapped to the boxes 2001 Crown Vic we have. And you can't have too many Polizei. That's the Mercedes Benz E420. So we'll take that. And way on down there, we've got a BMW Metal on Metal. Can't leave that one behind. Or at least I'm pretty sure it's metal on metal. We'll investigate. And we have an Australian car in the Horden Commodore police livery. Check this mean looking mummer out. This is the Dodge Magnum police car from 2006. This is the first casting I have of this one. Oh, that's funky. Heavy casting too. Maybe it's just... I want to say that's a metal base, but it's clearly not. Piped out wheels. Do they look good together or what? Huh. Let's get one up here with a light bar. You! That one. Hmm, not sure. Actually, I think that one looks better. Charger next to the Magnum. Wow. It's really heavy. Um, wonder why they stopped making that. Maybe got a bit too hard. That looks great. 2005, the only one I had in stock was this one, the Camaro, 1993 Camaro Z28. And not sure about it. Uh, I think I'll keep it in the box. It's okay. It seems to have a lot of different things. Put that back underneath the 2005 sign. Um, lost track now. Of where was 2004? Did I skip 2004? Possibly. I did too. It was that plastic motorbike. That one. Um, 2003. I think we might have skipped as well. Or did we? It's 2000. And yeah, we skipped 2003. It didn't have any goodies for us. So I'll skip right to this one. 2002. Uh, Chevy Impala Police. I have this in a couple of versions. Um, one is the Sydney Olympics livery. Obviously not police. I think it's a safety car. But this one's got another take on the whole emergency vehicle thing. 2 resist drugs and violence. Fair enough. suspension on that one and another motorbike let's see how this stands up it's got a stand but very rounded tires so we'll see pull over pull over oops get off okay what have we got here huh looks like a spider Hey, it stands up perfectly. Not too bad. Not too bad. Bring the others out to show it up. And welcome it in. Gee. Got a, is my cat wakes up and decides she's hungry. <laughs> Hang on. Okay. Cars in shot. This is also from 2001. The next four cars I'll show you are from the orange boxes, uh, number 35 of that year, the Holden Commodore. In almost a safety car look. Yeah. 
Not sure what they were thinking about that light bar. They could have made that any colour, but they decided to go with yellow, sadly. Nice blue though. And suspension. Plastic spoiler on spoiler on the back. So that's okay. And from Australia to America with the Crown Vic. some debris hmm yeah that light bar what do you think it is metal on metal though yeah not my favorite casting no suspension that was <laughs> break everybody's back that's a heavy car though it's okay now the one I wanted to see up close and personal, it was the BMW 328i Police. Uh, I think I have this casting in metal on metal, but I want to see if this one is. It's not like I'll reject it if it isn't. It'll go safely in the drawer behind me. Let's have a look. No, they went to plastic base on this one. I think the casting I'm thinking about has a um, uh, opening doors and metal base, but yeah, I like the livery. I like the orange and then checker blue and white on the the sill. Looks good and decent suspension. And the last one in these boxes is the Blitzai Mercedes Benz E420 in green. Again with those safety. Uh, that safety light bar. And this is metal on metal. That's a solid piece. There is some weight to this thing. Suspension, clear windows, decent interior. That's nice. And even further back, um, what is this? These weren't even on the pegs, but we'll take a look anyway. From 1998 release is the 1997 Chevy Tahoe release. Unit 4 on the roof, red light bar, no suspension. But again, they did a good job with that steering wheel. They went through a phase, didn't they, where they did not bother with the steering wheels. Or realistic ones, anyway. Sweet. Um, I've got a helicopter. I won't open that today, because I, I didn't um, do any helicopters today. I've got many, many police ones. And this is just one like it. Not here, anyway. Um, uh, they mix it up, don't they? 96 for that one in the mission helicopter. And last one we'll open today, I think, is another Crown Victoria. Big $2.93 from Big W back in 1998. So. Approaching 25 years old. Unit 22. What was the other one? I hmm, can't remember. Sweet. Plenty of Crown Vicks on the table today. Wonderful. Okay, let's go upstairs and do a bit of a pan round. We've ripped. Oh, one thing I didn't show you was the uh, five pack from 2010. I think I'll do a, it, I'll do a separate video on this one at some point. This has got a Crown Vic in it as well. There's a lot in there I like. Um, cool artwork as well. So we'll do a little separate video on that one in the future. It's worth a look. 
as we pan around the destruction, I rip through this place like a one-man locust. Sweet. A few empty pegs there. It looks like um, the uh, peg hunts I've been seeing on YouTube lately. There's a lot of frustration out there about empty pegs and uh, wherever you shop, be it Big W, Walmart, Carrefour, or wherever. There's a lot of uh, supply chain issues, so it was nice to get this video done to give you all a little bit of relief. Um, some footage of some full pegs until I got hold of the joint anyway. And there you have it. The Matchbox Super Special Police Car Event. I hope you enjoyed the show. This was a lot of fun to do, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.